Okay, so here we are. Welcome, guys, and we're going to be looking at another ship by Dalmont. What's the name, buddy? This is the uh, Ceres. The one Ceres. Yes. Oh, Named after that small planetoid in the outer solar system. Oh, oh yes, I know. Yeah, it's really nice, and it's very small too. I bet it handles well. Uh, surprisingly, it does. Uh, this is really 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 quite a small ship but it packs in so much stuff what dimensions does this have it is 77 meters long i think 23 high and 29 wide if i'm not mistaken oh, nice detail on the roof there With the antenna coming out of a computer or decorative this is a fully fully functioning shuttle bay I like the neck on it as well, and it's got the serious style, but it's a little bit cheap, looks a bit tougher than your usual design. Yeah, I went for something a little bit more robust and uh, kind of modern. It still looks, it looks awesome. Right, okay, right, so where do I come in here? Am I looking at uh, right oh, the hangar? Here. Well, you could either come in What's through the hangar. What's this in the hangar? Is this one of your shuttles? Yep, the same one that was on the Sylvana. Should we have a look at the shuttle before we go inside? Yeah, sure. I think uh, Bezzer's flying it. Yeah, I am. I've stolen it. Uh, so <laughs> how many does the does the shuttle fly? Uh, this one will only hold one of these, but for a ship no, I mean how many people can get in it? Uh, theoretically, only one at the moment, but you could probably do two or three if you dropped in a weapons computer or two. You could probably retrofit it. Okay, excellent. That sounds good. All right. Am I still in my stealth ship? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I thought I thought I was in a core. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really thinking I'm smaller than I am. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's awesome. Does it fly that way up, does it? Uh, yep. He's looking at us the, the right way. All oh, right. If you press uh, C, it, uh, it's a vertical, basically. Oh, I like vertical aligned ships. They always look a little bit different. Oh, God, the floor. <laughs> and we're inside. So, let's take a little look around. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, it looks like he's going to dock the shuttle. Spoilers. Oh no, is he? Whoa, I better get stand back. Clear the doors. You need to come in a bit more, I think. Oh god. There he goes. You got it? He's yep, got there it. There we go. <clears throat> Floor, please, Gov. Nice. Gravity blocks <clears throat> in here. Right in front of the center console. Oh yeah, I see it. Whoa, don't want to fall out the hatch. I like that. We've got an orbital drop hatch here. That's pretty epic. Okay. Perfect for kicking people out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just step over to the... <laughs> okay. The sun is making this look a bit nuts. So, uh, there we go. That's better. I can just about see that. We've got decorative panels with some glass. Got. I like this the use chair. of glass as well. Oh, this one here. Yeah, nice. So we've got lots of different. We've got different stations. We've got the drop hatch. <laughs> What's this over here? Crew quarters. Crew. Not very private, but uh... open plan crew quarters. It's all right. We're a friendly bunch. I have to. I have to credit Rip for something that's in here too. Uh, if you look up on the ceiling, there's a little ceiling fan. Oh, and I yeah. stole that from his exhaust vents on his new ship. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, what's upstairs? What's up here? Little miniature meeting room. Oh okay, cool meeting rooms. So we got like a computer panel displaying stuff here, yeah. Stuff and things important. Stuff and things. <laughs> things that people from space N need to know about. Numbers and graphs and things. Charts about the nature of the universe. Exactly. So, what do we got through here? Oh, Ooh, this is the docking bay, so no, it's not that way. So is this, is that the interior? That's pretty much it the feels, interior. It feels smaller inside than I expected for some reason, I don't know why. But it's still pretty, pretty big, it's quite spacious. For... Yeah, this thing is actually no bigger than the free ship. Uh, the free ship's only like 68 meters total. Hmm very nice 
Very nice. So what does it feature in terms of weaponry? Uh, well, realistically, this thing could actually fit two of the turrets you can find on the Sylvana's wings. Wow. Uh, so two capital-sized turrets. Now, I didn't put them on, but if you decided to remove one of those ice blocks on the outside, you could see that there is a uh, spot on both sides to fit the turrets. All you have to do is put the docking unit on. Right. And uh, when I release it, there will be two versions, Combat and Scout. This, of course, being the more Scout version. Oh, the ice block. Oh, wow. That's going to look superior. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I Yeah, I, I think that's going to work. <laughs> wow. Okay. I really like this. Um, it's got a lot of character to it as well. Let's see if we just get a few shots of this boy. I will learn to say its name properly as well, I reckon. That could be the running joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the idea behind this was basically lots of customizability in a small package. Well, you've definitely got that done. Well, I'm gonna test the drop hatch out. Geronimo. Oh, put your drop. <laughs> Excellent. If you park that just the right height above a planet. That would be awesome. Yup. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Going into the planet. Yeah, yeah. And this thing has like a four or five to one power to weight ratio. That planet looks juicy. Oh, it's purple. Right. We need the shuttle to test the... Uh, Okay, let's make this a group job, yeah? Um, hold up at safe distance above it. and then, Maintaining a standard orbit. Yeah, and then what I'll do is jump out. Oh, God! No, wait, that, that didn't... Oh, no, it's okay, I'm okay. All right, I'm heading back inside. Right, what oh, do I do? we're getting damaged by the sun. Oh, really? Yeah. How bad? Bad enough that I can see it. All right, let's leave. <laughs> All right, everybody locked in? Yeah, I'm in. I'm still in. Uh, abort! Abort! <laughs> Find another the planet. The world's too dangerous, so shields are not powerful enough, Captain. The sun's effect is too strong, Captain. <laughs> She's tearing apart the hull. It's not good. And damage report. My oh, who cares about logic? Player. We can make it. Punch forwards. <laughs> Oh, I can see a uh, ice planet on scan. I think we might need to engage the thrusters. <laughs> ah, this looks good. Have you found a safe, safe position? Uh oh, oh god! It's okay. Is that good? Are you parked? Uh, I'm floating. You're floating. Excellent. Yes, good. I'm still in control of the ship. Good work. Oh no! Oh wait, that's that's golden. Oh, that's a drop. That was what I was looking for. What you've got, guys? You've got to come down here and look at this. This is a sh just look at thing this. of beauty. <laughs> just just come down here. Oh dear, I'm just should save this sector. It's a good planet. Commencing orbital drop. Look at that. Look at the sun against the ice thing. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. I think I could put the ship down. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You need to see it first. You need to see this. Well, it's 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 floating right now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if you want to land her, then yeah. I'm just going to... Uh... Oh, I'm good. It's uh, going to hop down there. I think I'm going to... Uh... Hang on. Oh, are you coming down? Yep, coming down. We'll have to uh, get a core back up. Are you having to fly down? <laughs> Sadly, yes. <laughs> it's flying into gravity. Oh, what are. a crazy... Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that, man. You should have seen it when it was really close. It just... 
think this is the best planet I've ever seen. I think I'm going to save it. <laughs>